Hey guys, as promised, I was gonna do a collective try on haul video. This is a huge collective haul. I've been buying so many clothes over the last mm, three months basically right around uh, before the holidays started. But I do have some pieces that can still transition into spring because spring is not always super warm, especially if you live in countries with real seasons, with real four seasons. So I feel like all these pieces are still relevant. I went a little bit overboard with jackets, coats. My first and most exciting piece well, one of the most exciting pieces I got is this beautiful jacket. This is a jacket by All Saints. And this is not the ball fern uh, jacket, but it is very similar. The only difference is that the ball fern has uh, these, um, these buttons as well in the same color hardware, so it would be in silver. So I got the Wyatt in the ink blue size 4. It is a very deep blue ink color, and I love it. I love that it's not quite as black as my t-shirt. It's still quite interesting. I got it for a steal. I think I bought this around um, Boxing Week. So it, it has been a while, but I was eyeing another leather jacket for a long time. I already have my favorite one that I wear all the time from Aritzia and it is from Makaj. This one I like in particular uh, that is different from my other one because it has a lot of hardware. The hardware is quite oversized, very dramatic, and the, the look itself of this jacket is more oversized. I have a feeling this video will be super long, so grab your tea, grab your coffee. I basically have a large pile of clothes right in front of me on my bed. And I'm just gonna go through them one by one in the order that they come in because there's so much to show you. This bomber jacket was sent to me by Shein. I've always loved the bomber jacket trend um, and I've always wanted to buy one but I've never been able to find one that I love. Um, they look great on models and they they look great on the rack but once I put them on they look kind of weird. They look too slouchy or the fabric is too thin or too staticky but when I got this one I was so happy first of all look at the details on this it looks really simple but it has quilting on the sleeves which I love on camera as I said it's showing a lot more true pink than it is it's actually more of an orange salmon pink which I love it works really well with my skin tone and the inside is lined beautifully it has a little bit of um you know the poly fiber um, um, how do you call it? insulation almost so this jacket is great for me it's great for the spring when it's still kind of cool outside it looks oversized I love the trend I love that the sleeves are super long so I can still hide my hands inside it it keeps me warm but this pop of color is so fresh and I'm really loving the pink trend the pink trend is awesome um, so yeah, super cute jacket. The fabric on the outside is super soft. My hair doesn't get staticky when I wear this jacket. I just super recommend this and I have it in a size extra small. Okay, I'm gonna move on to two warmer jackets but that are, that are still thinner but still it's good in between seasons. So it's great for kind of like the end of winter, beginning of spring because it's still kind of cool and sometimes it would probably still snow or rain a lot. So I got another Stedman coat from Aritzia. You guys know how much I love my Stedman coat. I bought my gray one, I believe it was last year, if not the previous year, but a lot of you guys were asking me what coat it is. It's just a Stedman coat from Babaton, which is sold at Aritzia, inspired by the menswear, more structured wool jacket, but tailored to the female body. It has a little bit of a cocoon shape, so that's you know it's not so body hugging that it will constrict you in layering more and whatnot but it's still really dressy and still it really goes with everything every time i wear this jacket i get so many compliments and i get asked where i bought it uh, especially when i do vlogs people always ask me where i got it um and it, it's so versatile this is a really beautiful single layer uh wool coat it's a very mm, it's it's a, it's also a thinner wool but it's very appropriate for the spring and end of winter conditions it's super long this is 
super fancy, super long, super dressy. It has this really nice uh, collar detail. So it doesn't it doesn't have the folded collar. It just has this really nice, almost sweetheart looking collar. It's very pretty. It has these hidden buttons underneath, and it's more cinched in. So it looks really pretty if you wear. I would say you can wear anything underneath as well, but it will look a lot more dressier than the, the previous coat. And this is by the Babaton group as well, but it's their, I think it's their capsule collection. So it's limited edition. It's called the 1-01 Babaton. I did pick this up in a size zero and it's called the Bromova jacket. And the color uh, that I got is the Tawny. As you can see, this jacket is way longer, way longer than the Stedman. It's so pretty though. Love all of them. So my next jacket I wanted to show you, I believe I've already shown this jacket in my previous haul uh, video, but I thought I would just mention it again because the trend that I wanted to focus on is the gun flap trend. And I'm loving these, um, these are like trench coats, but they are very, they're very, very minimalist and they have this very nice drapey fabric to them. This one is by Stylewe. I love their stuff. Stylewe is an online company that uh, carries a lot of designer, independent designers clothing and their stuff is super high quality. I'm not even joking. My general observation is that usually when you go with these very affordable uh, websites, they have very cutesy clothes and all that, but they don't quite cut off all the threads and they come a little bit wrinkly and whatnot and their packaging is not top notch but with Stylewe it's not the case their stuff everything is so beautiful so well made I hope this is still available because this is such a great jacket it's kind of like a microfiber uh, material so it's not quite as thin as what I'm going to show you next it's still quite warm, uh, so it will be maybe too warm for summer, but it's perfect for spring. These trenches are very minimalist. They give off the very cool vibe, but they also, I don't know, they're very effortless, very easy to put on and pair with almost anything. Um, yeah, I just love, love, love. So this one is by Babaton. So I did buy this at Aritzia and this is Indie Double Extra Small. And uh, this is a classic style. They will always have it. It's called the Lawson Trench. And I picked it up because I love this coat, this color. This is, this is the bone color. See all these, you know, the gun detail, the gun flap details. It's very minimalist, but I just love the drapey fabric. And this is a thinner fabric, so it's very good for summer, especially on a cooler summer days. I don't know about you guys, but in Vancouver, our summer is like 20 degrees, which is not that hot in my opinion. It's not hot enough, so sometimes I still do need a jacket like this in the evenings. Last jacket, I promise, I think. Oh no, I have more. <laughs> but those other ones are a little bit more uh, cropped, so they're more kind of like, uh, jackets that you would wear indoors. These are more outdoor jackets. So this is another vest type um, with very drapey fabrics and it looks like a trench. So it's a vest trench. I love this one. This one I got from uh, Make Me Chic. So they are also one of those online companies that sell really trendy clothing at a very affordable price. I was so impressed by this one. I'll You'll see why, because I styled it as a dress, actually. I love it. I love that the fact that I can wear this as a coat just on the outside of whatever I'm just wearing. For example, like today, I have skinny jeans and this little t-shirt, and I just put that on top. But I can also just wear it as a dress by itself. So it's kind of like a trench dress where I just cinch in the waist and with a little bit of a slip inside, and I'm good to go. I love that this one has this huge pocket it's so so cute oh i just love this so yeah i got this in the extra small and i don't know this is one of my favorite pieces i have this little jacket here that i got from i think this is from shein like i said i will link all of them down below it's such a super cute little jacket to throw on top of you know skinny jeans when i first got it it came in a little bit wrinkly so i had to steam it it had um, those shoulder pads underneath but i didn't like it 
uh, so I removed it and the way you do you go about it is you go from the sleeve that has the uh, sewing so I think it was yeah it's on the left sleeve on mine so you just turn your sleeve upside uh, inside out and then un undo the stitch there and then just go inside of the lining and just cut it out so that's what I did I, I preferred it without the the shoulder pads so without the shoulder pads it has actually even less structure to it this tweed fabric is not very hard it's a soft tweed so it you know when you do that it kind of stays like that but my point is you can get really affordable styles like this that are really really cute and still be able to you know get the look that you like on photos and whatnot it's still really really cute but um like I said, these are just really affordable companies that make things that are on trend at an affordable price but you do get what you pay for. It's just kind of like when you buy from Zara. As you will probably witness in this video is that I love buying jackets. I absolutely invest in good quality jackets and I'm also often a cold person so like a lot of times I don't even remove my jacket when I go indoor so I love buying a great jacket and I tend to stay more um, simple underneath if, especially like you know with a t-shirt like this this t-shirt cost me I think it was $15 it's from Banana Republic it's part of their new tea shop uh, collection and I love it. I bought this in a lot of colors and black is just always safe and I just paired it with my cute brooch today. Pink is also a very universally flattering color and I'm just loving the pink trend. So I've got a couple of these t-shirts here. Well actually they're from different companies so I got you know these this is another Banana Republic t-shirt from the tea shop that I bought so it's exactly the same fit as this one that I'm wearing uh, but I got this in the light pink and I thought it was super cute I wore this in my previous video and I paired it with my choker and a lot of you loved it super cute when you pair it with a dark jean or even like a black jean super easy to style like you literally don't really have to style it you just put it on put some jeans on and it looks super on point uh, next, I have this one. I talked about it in my last favorites video. This is a distressed t-shirt, also in pink, but this is more of a salmon pink and it shows more as a true pink on camera. This I got, uh, is, this is one size fits all and I got this from Rome We. Love their stuff. The more you wash this kind of t-shirt or any kind of distress distress uh, piece of clothing that you buy like jeans or whatnot the more you wash them the more distressed they become and the nicer they even look the more vintagey they even look so loving this style oh and i also like that this one has a high low sort of hem and uh, yeah like i said this is one size fits also it fits more like a medium or a small medium and i just cuff it to make it look smaller next i have a few t-shirts that i bought uh, at Banana Republic and J. Crew. So this is another one of those very standard tees that I love. I love buying multiples of these whenever I find a style or a cut that I love or a material that I love. Uh, I just buy multiples of them, except that this one, they only had a blue one in my size, so I only bought one. So this is from J. Crew, and I love the pocket style. This one is a little bit more, it's not cropped, but it's just shorter than the other ones that I normally buy. So. This is from J. Crew, love, love, love. And usually I go with an extra small or double extra small at Banana or at J. Crew. So this is a couple of those beautiful pocket tees with a drapey fabric that I got from Banana Republic. I love that this one has this beautiful scoop neck. It's also from their tea shop collection. Uh, I love these two in particular because they have a little bit more of a sheen to them. There's like sparkly things on the fabric. And I love it. So this is more of a more of an ivory beige color with gold sparkles. And this one is more of a gray with silver. So this is a high-waisted, big, wide leg crop pants. So it has a nice pleat here on the side, on each side, and it's just a really nice fabric not staticky at all even for a synthetic fabric it has a 
pocket detail in the back but they're fake pockets just very simple so i love pairing this with like a thin tank top underneath one that hugs the body or um i love wearing this with a more structured jacket on top but a little bit cropped so that it really shows off where your waist starts because these are high-waisted and uh, they pair super well with some pointy heels or pointy flats I don't quite fill out the hip area as much as I would like I think people who have beautiful hips fill out these pants so well and it makes their legs look super skinny whereas I just look straight so that's the only con I guess for someone who has that kind of body type as me but I still love them anyway because I've always loved the flare pant trend when I was in high school so this kind of reminds me a little bit of that but just a little bit updated with the crop feel I always love showing a little bit of skin but they're not like super revealing it's just the shoulder part I think it looks sexier than sleeveless shirts if you know what I mean like I love 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 that trend so this is a little cute t-shirt that I got from Stylewe it has a lot of spandex in it it's quite thick as a cotton but not so thick that you feel like you're gonna sweat so much in the summer along the same line with the same trend this is also a cold shoulder top but this one is made of wool and I picked this up from Banana Republic. Another super cool trend that came back is loud logo mania or loud letterings. Love that. So you guys saw me wear this in one of my previous videos. It just says just do it later. I thought it was fun because we need lazy days too, right? So perfect weekend shirt and I got this in a medium. They do run a bit small so I, I did get it I did size it up just to make sure that I can get the oversized look on me. Love this shirt. It's super well made as well. Like I said, um, I got this from Rome Wee. Highly recommend this as well. It's super comfortable. I'll probably be wearing this at the airport a lot. The ruffle trend is so cute. So here's another top. Really cute top that I got from Style Wee. And all the ruffles throughout. It has a see-through sort of fabric on the sleeves almost yeah it's kind of like a bell sleeve with ruffles finishing and the top and here the the collar detail the ruffles in the front is super cute uh, this top is very interesting because it has this bodysuit uh, bottom <laughs> where you know it's it's just a little bit it has snap snap buttons so it's not so bad but it's just a little bit inconvenient I'm just used to things that are easy to remove especially when you need to go use the ladies room but nevertheless it's a super cute top I actually didn't even secure it on the bottom I just I just tucked it under my jeans my last shirt and you guys have seen this in my previous videos it's just a striped shirt so I mean stripes are always on trend but I love the fact that this one has bell sleeves so it kind of kind of goes along the way of ruffles I guess yeah, just loving this shirt. I don't know if they still sell it. Almost forget this super cute jacket. So I picked this up from Banana Republic. It's just a very simple uh, jacket that you wear on top of anything. But I, I wanted to get this one because it has a really nice fabric. It has a little bit of stretch to it. But this fabric and the, the style looks really dressy. And I can just pair it with a little bit of a brooch. It has a little bit of a peplum styling on the bottom. It's so cute when I wore it. And I just wanted a jacket like this so that whenever I wear dresses, I can just pair this on top as my, you know, just coat or jacket on top and it will just keep me warm. This was $160, so I thought it was a great price point for something like this is just a classic piece. It can I can be worn anytime. I love yeah, it has these snap button closures skirts and dresses so i picked up this cute little number from style we i still have the tags on it <laughs> isn't it cute this has a cutout on the waist area so it's just a cute little skirt it has a slit in front if you can see and here's a beautiful dress Oh, this dress, the lace details on this is just amazing. Uh, but I do think that mine, they kind of made a mistake in the, in the middle panel here. But regardless, when I was wearing it, it looked beautiful. I think this middle part was supposed to be more centered. 
and I think they shifted it on one side and that's why you see it's not quite um, proportionate but uh, I told the company and they apologize and all that and they will send me a new garment but uh, basically I still wanted to show you the rest of it it's super cute it has three layers it has this layer of lace details and it has a layer of tulle underneath and it has uh, the slip so the lining underneath this is by make me chic as well so the same company where I picked up the vest like I said any intricate um, designs that they they make they do put in a lot of work and a lot of material in them but because i think they are more intricate then they probably cut corners in the finishing touches so there was a lot of threading that i had to remove uh which i guess it's okay because you're you know you're paying like 30 dollars for this right so it's kind of crazy and then uh also the material itself is a little bit more scratchy Although it's not any more scratchy than like a wool top, so I think that's acceptable. And so yeah, style-wise, it's super cute though. Super, super cute. Perfect for afternoon tea. I've already shown this ruffle dress on my previous videos, but I thought I would just showcase them again because I just I wanted to show you the ruffle trend. This is such an easy dress. And this is a great dress to go eat with because it's so flowy. You can eat, have a tummy full of food and no one would notice. And it's super cute paired with the brooch. I usually just wear my gold brooch with this. And yeah, I think this is definitely going with me to my trip because it's perfect. It's, it's literally a perfect dress for, I don't know, it's going to be on repeat. And it photographs super well because of the color. Another ruffle dress. I'm just crazy about ruffles. So this is uh, from Banana Republic. I did pick it up in the fall, but I paired it with a nice brooch, the my black one, and it looks super cute because it already has a little bit of black and white accent to it. So it looks super well with my brooch. Again, this is also an easy dress. It's a little bit more cinched in, but still kind of flowy. And like I said, I don't have a lot of hips, so the hip area is not as filled in, which is fine. I don't mind it. That's just how my body is. Love, love, love these ruffle detail. And this fabric is so good. I believe they still have it online, actually. I think the petite sizes are still available. And last but not least, another beautiful dress. Beautiful lines the geometrical lines perfect dress for running around town but still really dressy nice polished look put together good for work as well and a very thin well much thinner fabric than i thought i would get which is fine it's great for summer even though it's a black color great for the office love the lines i know that i was a bit late and that's why i have so many items to show you but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and if you guys want me to do more of these videos more often then let me know and i will try my best to do them on time so that you guys can still pick these up if you want it you can just take the inspiration if they're not available but i will like i said put all the links down below so that you guys get all the information as much as possible especially if they're still available and um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video let me know what you thought i'm amy and i will see you again very soon bye